So here's one way of making the float rig for sea fishing. Uh, tend to use this for bigger baits, perhaps live baits, even as big as mackerel. You're going to need a stop knot, a bead, float, weight, link swivel and some sort of hook as well depending on what you're using as bait. So in my left hand is the braid and then we're just going to put these float stops on. They've got like a loop, metal loop that we put over the top, that's a good thing about those. Uh, the advantage of these is that you can just hook that loop over the main line and then put the stop knot on. So just loop that over. We're using braid for our main line here, but uh, float fishing, of course, you can use mono as well. Using that braid because it's just that little bit easier to see in that thick black colour. Uh, pull it through got the two loops pulling against each other and then it's actually easier to see with this black background So we have used um, power gum in the past for that, but this is a little bit neater. Then you've got to choose your bead. Make sure the bead doesn't have a big hole like that. It'll simply go over the stop knot. And then you're going to take your bead onto the end of the main line. Poke the line through whether that's your main line of monofilament or braid and then it sits there and that way the float when it goes underneath that bead uh, isn't going to slide up the line and then we're using these sort of cigar floats all sorts of floats are available of course the problem with these cigar floats I tend to find particularly when you're using braid as a main line it can get caught on that uh, little sort of notch at the top Uh, little homemade ones there. Uh, the main thing is that the line goes through the middle of the float and can slide up and down easily. So then you just set the depth that you want to fish at by moving that float stop up the line. Now, it may well be if you're fishing deeper water that that float stop will actually be on your reel right around the spool. Now all I'm doing here is adding this barrel lead. Uh, this is perfectly weighted uh, for the float so that the float sits in the water well. All you're going to do here is thread the barrel weight onto the line. Do check the end of the, the lead there where it's got little imperfections that can uh, cause damage to the line. Sometimes I put a bead in the other side just to stop um, the sharpness of that weight when you're casting causing you problems. Uh, but basically that's where it's going to be onto the main line you could put a bead there i suppose just to stop it because uh, there'll be a knot on that swivel there uh, and you want to stop that damaging it uh, then you want to clip um, this is so you can change snoods quickly if you snag lose a hook or something um, you can do that you can use these lead clip ones here only problem with these is if you look at the gap in between on that loop, if you're using something like braid, you see how easily that can come out of the loop there. So some of those cheaper clips aren't what I'd use. So I use these mini links, um, although Breakaway do do the fast link clips as well, which are a little bit more heavy duty. Even looking at £25 test on these should be enough for this sort of fishing. And then uh, you tie your mono or fluorocarbon hook snoods. And then the idea is you make as many of these uh, snoods up as you think you might need. I'm using 20 pound fluorocarbon here. I use about four foot of fluorocarbon leader. 
and then just make up loads of snoods uh, ready to clip on the end of the rig. You will need a swivel on one end of course uh, for the twist or to stop the line twisting. And that's it, you're ready to go. There are lots of different ways of rigging a float of course. Um, this is just one way that I found pretty basic and has been effective.